Bloomberg reported this morning that the Saudi government owned Aramco and the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company are separately looking at bids for the Australian gas company Santos. Now, nobody involved would comment, but that didn't stop punters pushing the price up 4.2% today. Apparently Santos has been shopping itself around for a while now and a couple of possible bids have fallen through. But if it's true that the Middle East and oil giants are kicking its tyres, it's a vote of confidence in gas. All the resources stocks went up today, pushing the market index up a very solid 1.2%. The rise in mining company shares today was on the back of the third strong gain in the iron ore price in a row, 3% last night, which is also a nice windfall for the government, as well as the iron ore mining taxpayers. This chart shows the government's budget assumption, $60, versus the actual price and Commonwealth Bank's forecast. So I'm calling this a cast iron hollow log. The rising iron ore price and perhaps a sudden burst of interest in natural gas shoved the Aussie dollar above 67 US cents for the first time since January the 8th. And the US market closed higher again with solid gains by Tesla and Nvidia. A leftover housing graph to finish from Monday's monthly price data. It's the national median house price from the moment when interest rates started to rise in May 2022. Now at first it fell by 7.5% but then even as rates kept rising, house prices turned around and started rising again. And by coincidence, the percentage gain now is the same as the RBA cash rate is now. It's part mystery, part tragedy and part happy relief for those who own a house. And that's finance.